There's always this moment where when the alarm goes off in the middle of the night. Good morning. You're like, damn, why am I doing this? I would really like to keep sleeping. But I think from experience, you know that there will be a moment sometime later on when you're really happy to have made that choice and everything makes sense. Brad and I share a lot. We both work at Crayon Mont Blanc together. In a lot of ways, the project of moving overseas, moving to France together, means that we're like very close and we share a ton. Brad Carlson from Vermont in the United States, living in France for the past 10 years with Hillary. The Mont Blanc Massif is a, a real jewel among the Alps. In addition to having, of course, the highest peak in Western Europe, it's also this really compact, magnificent combination of glaciers and steep granite needles. It's been really at the center of alpinism for more than 200 years at this point. You know, where we're from in Vermont, of course, you can go skiing, you can go climbing, but you can't get into the same high mountain glaciated terrain. So that transition from cragging to climbing mountains in the Alps, I made that transition with Hillary, sort of discovered this new form for us of climbing together. Choosing to live here in some ways means sacrifices. We're far away from our families in a small apartment that we can't fit all of our stuff in. But together we made the decision to call this home really because of what's outside of the door. It's been really cool to see Hillary take off and do her own thing. Really embrace the challenge of becoming a, an endurance athlete. No question, she has taken off in terms of pure physical stamina, endurance. And at this point, we sort of have this trade-off where I can move faster and more technical terrain, and Hillary can move faster and less technical terrain. And so we have to find projects that sort of intersect where we both are, you know, not waiting too much for the other person. That's most of the time about Hillary waiting for me. I'll be the first to admit that there's nothing especially remarkable about doing the regular route of Mont Blanc. Today, literally thousands of people do it every year on their quest to get to the summit. The route, however, is interesting for me because I essentially look at it from my backyard. Brad is up there all the time guiding clients. And when you look at the map, there's kind of like this logical arc you can imagine from our apartment up the regular route and heading all the way to the summit. It just kept like kind of nagging at me. It's like it wanted to be done. And it wanted to be done going from where I live, getting to that high point, a totally different world, and then back home all in one day. In this case, she's perfectly capable of doing that on her own. We've already been up there multiple times together from the Italian side, Krupton Ridge. So it was really more about this motivation to share part of her odyssey from Cervos, especially the high mountain part from the Need Egg at 2,400 meters up to the summit and back. Right now, right now is the right time. 13 and a half kilometers. 1550, and there's a bra! Is <laughs> this quote in Mountains of the Mind where he talks about how when the sun starts to rise, mountains come out like a photograph developing slowly in the dark room and the shapes appear and you start to see the picture. And that's what's happening right now. Dawn is coming and we're seeing the mountains. The restrictions that have been put in place on travel and movement because of COVID pandemic. For some people, being limited in where you're allowed to go makes you really desire to go somewhere far away. Place, 
But I think the opposite kind of happened for us. When we were limited by where we could go, it made us explore rather intensely what was right around home and then start planning these projects and ideas that would bring us like just a little bit further or that like it made us realize how many things, if we were allowed to, we could do leaving from our front door. When you're down in the valley, it's sometimes hard to imagine the severity of the high alpine. A place that's really not so far away in terms of distance is really like a world away in terms of elevation and conditions that that is going on at the same time up there when you're down here. Of course, I would want to share it with him because wanting to be up there with someone that you feel completely safe with emotionally and physically. There's also no shame in recognizing, you know, maybe you need outside help. Having him with me was important because it provided a really important margin of safety. To me, I, I think it mostly highlights how lucky we are to have the roof of Europe within uh, running distance of home for somebody like Hillary anyway. Oh, Hillary! Woo! Servos to summit. Servos to summit. Home to summit portion complete. Drive my heading down from Mont Blanc. Well, you know, this trip would probably go a lot faster if Brad didn't literally know every single guide that we have passed. This experience embodies finding the right balance between being as fast and light as possible and being as safe as possible. And that huge contrast between the bottom and the top of the mountain is part of one of the reasons why we've chosen to call this place home and what motivated me as an athlete to want to experience all those changes in the course of one day. Oh, so nice to be home. Oh. It is far away.